Right everyone, we're flipping here. Right, I'm going to attempt to make some broadheads for crossbow bolts from a spoon and the original field tips. So what I'm going to attempt to do is a screw in broadhead, homemade, should be very easy to make, cost very little money, use very little tools. I've not actually tried this before, so I'm just going to do it as I go along. If it works, it works. If not, we'll know it doesn't work. So the idea is to hammer this flat, flat as possible, and thin enough so that I can cut, I'll probably cut the top off of this uh, head, cut a slit into it, so that the arrowhead, once it's been shaped, can slot into that, and then this can then be screwed back into the bolt. So the first thing I'll have to do, I think, is cut the top off of this, and then start hammering that flat. Right, now I've done that flat, I'm going to round that over quickly with a file. Right, so that will do for now. So I'm going to attempt this on one of these longer ones, and if that doesn't work, I've got some of these shorter ones. It will mean I don't have to cut the slit as long. Um, so, but we'll go with this one first, see how it goes. So what I'm going to do now is, actually I'll tell you what we'll do now, we'll hammer this flat. Right, won't need to go all the way up the handle because we're probably only going to need a bit of that anyway. So, get that as flat as possible. I'll just do it a little bit more then be ready to shape it. That's about as flat as I can get it. What I'm going to try and do is shape this with some bolt croppers, bolt cutters. Save me having to cut it with a saw. So, I'll see if I can do that now. It'll have to be a saw then. Save that bit, might be able to do some kind of thin pointed blade with that. So what I'll do now is I'll probably cut it along here and along here to make the actual broadhead shape. I'm not 100 sure what shape I want at the minute, but or even what size, but we'll see how it goes. Right, don't know if you'll be able to see that, but that's about the kind of shape I'm gonna have for now, we'll see how it goes. So, along there and along there. So that's what I'm gonna cut off. Right, before I go and do anything else to this, I'm going to cut the slit into this first to see how much I would need to adjust to this bottom bit. So now I'm going to cut the slit into here and it will come down to probably halfway into this bit that goes into the top of the bolt. Right, so that should be that bit done. I hope that's not too tight, uh, too um, hot to hold. So, the slit goes all the way down past this bit, so this will be actually in the shaft of the bolt. Hopefully what that will do is clamp it shut around the broadhead, the actual tip. So, what I need to do now is work out how deep I want this in. Uh, I reckon I want this top bit to come over here a little bit so if we say about there I'll need to cut this off around about here if you can see that and then hopefully that should slot in right so this is slightly thicker than the slot so we're either going to need to make this slightly thinner 
or the slot slightly thicker so what I'm going to try and do is hammer it as thin as possible and then see if it'll fit in if not I could always run a thicker saw blade down there and then this should fit in to about there and then we can shape the blade so I'll hammer this down now and then we'll see how we go but this thinner bit should be able to get quite thin anyway So that may start to fit in. We'll see how it goes. I'm, I'm not, like I said, I'm not 100% sure how this is going to go anyway. Right, so I'm going to attempt to put the, put the camera right, put the tip down as far as I can get it without splitting this. Right, I think it's going to open a little bit. Hopefully, it shouldn't break though. But I've done this so. But if it does, what I'm hoping this will do is, well, that's about as far down as it will go. What I'm hoping will happen is, when you put this into the bolt, it will close it up. Right, so this is the head in the actual body of the bolt tip. I'm going to put it in, make sure there's no bit sticking over each edge so it'll screw in all right I'm going to put it in this vise tighten it up so it clamps it up a little bit so it's used to being that tight hopefully that should work a bit and then using one of the aluminium bolts with the plastic end I think that'd be the easier way screw that on actually I'll be able to do it by hand so I'm not sure if that's tightened up on it at all but we may be able to do something about that if it doesn't. Right, so because I wasn't always sure this method would work, I always had a backup anyway. So two things I'm going to try. One now, because this is slightly loose, I may hammer this right down so that the whole shaft's into the plastic bit. Uh, I may, actually I'll have to cut the bottom of the um, this off, hammer it right in. If not, I'll still be able to do it by taking, not using that, and just having this in the shaft with some pieces of possibly aluminium or wood. But So I'll take this apart now and cut the slot right down and then screw it back in. We'll see how it goes. Right, so I've cut the slot virtually to the end. Hopefully, I should be able to hammer this down into the bolt enough so that I could break that out. So, we'll see how that goes in a minute. I will just need to file this edge down slightly more so it fits in better. Right, I'll try hammering this down as far as it goes now. Then. That's a lot better. Doesn't move now. So yeah, that's the method you want to do really. So all I need to do now, clamp that up again, so tighten that up. So that really gets round there. And now shape the tip. One thing I would recommend you do if you get time is to make this part more rounded over. I'm not going to bother with this one. Um, yeah, you might want to. Actually, now I will. So you want to round that over a bit more, so it's more a shallower, you know, like that. It won't prevent the bulk going in then. Right. So this is what it looks like now. So I'll give it a little test in a minute.
Before you leave, if you ever wanted to support this channel, you can now via Patreon or by shopping at Amazon.com and Gearbest. There's more info below if you need that. Remember, if you want to get full notifications for this channel, click the bell. And uh, I'll see you later. Cheers.